Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do a journal with me video in my traveler's notebook. I'm using the 5th edition traveler's notebook in Camel and I'm going to be working in my junk journal insert that I created and I hope to do a flip through one of these days of the junk journals that I'm currently using. I'm using uh, several at this time. I actually filmed this spread several, well, probably a couple months ago and I finally decided to, or I finally had the time to edit it so my apologies that it's a bit delayed but I wanted to journal about uh, my time that I went to Shibuya with my husband and we were able we were able to eat Taco Bell I know it's not real Mexican food or anything like that but it's just hard to find uh, different types of food around where I live and I'm really craving food other than Japanese food but Anyway, so here I am using some scrap paper. This paper is actually from some food packaging. I believe it was from a like a hot dog package. Um, when I went to, oh gosh, I think it was Kamakura where I went to, and we had a hot dog, and this was kind of wrapped on the like on the outside. Uh, but I just thought it was neat. It had like uh, theater information, um, but. So I decided to use that as a backdrop. The tissue paper that you see that I'm cutting up right now is actually from a cafe that I went to visit with Momo and Esther and I will leave their information in the description box. And we met up for um, some lunch and a cafe and I think this is where I got the napkin. I don't really remember 100%. I should have written down a note. But I like using um, tissue paper from stores that have their logos on there. I like tissue paper because it's kind of semi-transparent and you can still see the color or like the imaging on the back if you just uh, remove one layer or if it's uh, thin enough. The paper that I'm sticking down right now is packaging from a gift that I received from Esther. It's this really neat uh, fountain pen paper, I think is what it's called. It's thin, but it doesn't bleed through, and it's just really, really nice. Sorry, my son is right beside me uh, playing with my journals, so you might hear him sometimes, once in a while. And then this I get asked quite often is, where do I get these calendar sheets? And they are actually from my friend uh, Life life at 30 something and she's on Instagram as well I'm not too sure where she purchased them so I, I apologize that I can't really help out but I I really like using these date sheets it kind of gives me a break from my usual date stamp and there I use the washi tape the pin washi tape and I cut it out and I stuck it down so it kind of looks like a pin then here I'm just kind of fussy cutting the burrito from the Taco Bell brochure. You'll notice that I'm cutting up a lot of things from the brochure. So I cut up the title, Fajita Burrito. I also cut up the Taco Bell logo as well. So I feel like sometimes, for example, this one, this page spread, I forgot to take photos. But I had the brochure, so I was able to cut a lot of stuff. Sorry, my... <laughs> My son is here. Anyways, so back to the page spread. <laughs> Sorry about that. So back to the page spread. I cut up the packaging here. This uh, brown bag or brown paper was actually used to wrap the burrito. Or it was wrap The burrito was wrapped in this uh, brown piece of paper. I'm just using some dot liner and glue stick. I'm not too sure why I used both here because the paper is so thin. Uh, I don't think, you know, both adhes adhesives were necessary. But anyways, I used the, the brown packaging as a back drop once again and the cutout image from the pamphlet and I glued that down. My experience with the Taco Bell in Japan was really underwhelming. I think my expectations were a bit too high. I've been craving for tacos for quite a long time. I know burrito tacos are totally different, but yeah, just really disappointed with the out outcome of the Taco Bell. I think I had the image of burrito boys. I don't know if you have burrito boys around where you live, but 
I used to eat Burrito Boys when I was back home and I used to eat the haddock one, the fish. And it was so good and it's huge. Uh, but it's just, it's so filling and you could choose all the different types of toppings and they make it for you right there. So it takes a bit of time, but it's so delicious. And I think that's what I had in mind when I was uh, getting this burrito. But anyways, yeah, so uh, I ripped that piece, the brown piece again from the packaging and I stuck it up at the top. Now I'm using this stamp set, the Alpha stamp set, and I think this one is from Michaels that I purchased a long time ago, well, several years ago, back when I went back to Canada to visit my family. I think it was really, really inexpensive to several, just a couple dollars, but I don't know if you can see that. I just stamped on the bottom there in Shibuya, and because I felt like something was missing on the page, I just kind of a stamped a couple of dots on the side as well and I think that's about it for this page spread I hope you enjoyed watching this journal with me process if you have any questions or food that you're actually craving I love to hear <laughs> leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon thank you so much bye bye